Salutations Game Enthusiasts, George Minard here. Just wanted to quickly pop in and offer some thoughts on that latest Nintendo Direct. Because it was absolutely flipping fantastic. And I instantly regretted not doing a reaction video to it. That would have been more interesting than this. But this is what you get, because this is what I'm doing. Ha 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 ha. If they said this Direct is going to be heavily Mario focused, I would have recorded a reaction. But oh well, here we are. Um... We got several Mario games, and that's what I'm going to be talking about here, because I didn't really care about any of the other stuff. Did I care about any of the other stuff? Uh, they mentioned the Splatoon 3 Splatfest. I didn't even get Splatoon 3, because honestly, me and Splatoon, I used to really love the first game. Less so the second game. I kind of, I kind of just... It's a weird thing with me and Splatoon. I kind of just got worse and worse at the game and got more and more cross whenever I lost. And I just had less and less of a good time playing it as a result. So I just didn't bother with the third game. Uh, what else not Mario before we get into the Mario things was there? I suppose Wario could be counted as not Mario. Though I didn't really, but like, it get him out of the way anyway. Uh, I, I'm not... A massive fan of WarioWare. It's okay. It's a fun little game series. Um, I care a lot more about Wario Land. I haven't really had loads of the games, but I I love WarioWare. Not WarioWare. Wario Land Shake Dimension on Wii. That game was terrific. Honestly, massively deserving of a re-release. To be honest, because apparently it did not do well. Just re-release it and market it well, because it looks fantastic, it plays fantastic, it is fantastic. Don't even remake it, just re-release it, with maybe, with obviously tweaked controls, because... Subwarine, ew. Anyway, uh, so I don't really care about WarioWare, to be honest, probably won't get it. Um, anything else not mario -y? A few different little RPGs. Uh, more farming sims to add to the pile. Uh, gonna, there's gonna be something that was like really big that I forgot to mention that I will remember immediately after I finish recording. Mm. Oh well! Mario time! Yes! Uh, yes, so, so much Mario. I've got to say, I was actually planning to play, do a let's play of Super Mario RPG once I finished with Mario Galaxy, Mario Galaxy 2 over here. <clears throat> In case you didn't notice, by the way, on my shelf behind me, the intention that I've always had is uh, I would have the two games that I'm currently let's playing on my channel be on the shelf. They're not there because they're my favourite games. If that were the case, then it would be Super Mario and Mario Galaxy 1, uh, not 2, but um, yes, once we're finished with those. Super Mario, very close to being finished. My Super Paper Mario, point, point, there we go. My Super Paper Mario Let's Play is finishing on Sunday of this week, so stay tuned for that. It's a long video, but it's it's been a really fun Let's Play with me and my friend Harry. Um, and getting off topic, uh, um, yeah, Super Mario RPG. Uh, I was gonna let's play that by myself after I finished with Mario Galaxy 2. Um, cause, like, a few years ago, I played, I played some of it for the first time on Wii U. Fun fact, it didn't come out in the UK until the Wii Virtual Console, which is a bit sad, and I don't get why it didn't release on the SNES over here back in the day. <laughs> Snares wasn't my era anyway, so I wouldn't have gotten it then anyway, but um, yeah, I played a bit of it on Wii U. I'd already been kind of spoiled by modern RPGs though, so the controls felt really jank and really hard to time the action commands and stuff. It felt really wonky for me. Um, the story that I played, the story felt really good from what I saw of the story. I really enjoyed quite a lot of it, but like... I got to like this like ghost ship with like a giant blooper boss or something in it and I kind of gave up at that point. Um, I don't know how far that is through the game, but this is kind of perfect really. 
because now I can play the remake instead on the channel. And that that game's controls, like it looks like a rather faithful recreation. I imagine it will be easier to control and use, because the, the original game felt really off to me. Like I'm used to playing using the action commands in Mario Luigi and Paper Mario, and the, this just felt like I couldn't tell what was a good timing for the attacks. It just felt very strange, and also for blocking enemy attacks as well just felt very very strange and off to me but i'm so excited for that i'll be let's play that soon nice everybody looks short and scrunkly and it's kind of adorable um <laughs> and there's a untitled peach game <laughs> don't know what to think about that there isn't even a title for it yet. They didn't go into like any detail. It's some kind of stage play. I, I, I absolutely love Super Princess Peach. Super Princess Peach was one of my favorite childhood games on the DS. Absolutely loved that game. Excellent pixel animation and graphics in that game. Really good music. A fun time. People people complain about it. Um, I mean, it's a weird, weird. People say it's a weird sexist concept. I, I don't know. It didn't really bother me. Uh, and also, there's the annoying thing where you've got to collect all the toads before you get to the end. Either I was doing that just automatically myself, uh, or I just didn't mind it when I played it. But I really enjoyed Super Princess Peach. I don't know if this is... This doesn't look like anything like what Princess Peach was. Uh, but looks nice, I suppose. I have nothing really to say about it, because they didn't really tell us anything about it. Moving swiftly on! That was not funny. Moving swiftly on to... what else? Luigi's Mansion? Uh, I'm not really Luigi's Mansion guy. Don't really play him. Probably not gonna play this. Oh well. Uh, this is very high energy video. I can't be bothered to edit this by the way. This is just going up. I'm just gonna film this and upload it from my phone. I don't think I'm not, I'm not even going to put a, my usual da 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 opening to the front of it. It's just going to go up. <laughs> uh, so I hope you're happy with this little casual video. <laughs> um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, the Lost Moon of Poosh. That's a, doc that's a Doctor Who reference that no one's going to get. Um, do I move on to the, the final big thing now? Was that all the other Mario games? No, there was Mario Kart 8 DLC. Yippee! It's about time Kamek got into these games, isn't it? Like, I know that he was uh, originally intended to go into Mario, 60, Mario Kart 64, but like, Mario Kart's been going on for a heckin' long while. There's been a lot of Mario Karts, and Kamek is like, um, he's a major character. He's like, he's, well, kind of the main antagonist of the Yoshi series, but he's... He's also Bowser's adoptive father, and he appears all over the place in, like, the main Mario games. You would think that a character such as that would be just playable in all the spin-offs, like, alongside Bowser, like, as much as Bowser, if not, like, a little bit less. But, yeah, yeah, it's weird that Kamek isn't in loads of spin-offs as a playable character, and it's about time he got into Mario Kart. I know that he was already in Tor. Tor makes me frown so much. I mean, when it first came out, I tried to download it and it just wouldn't work on my phone for whatever reason. I don't think it was not enough space, but it just didn't work. Um, it doesn't appeal to me as like a really simplified mobile version of Mario Kart. I don't play mobile games, really. I'm tempted to get Champions of the Continent. Is, is, is that out in this country? Is that out in England? I don't know. I think that it has been localised to English now, I think so. That's an Octopath Traveler game, by the way. I have been playing Octopath Traveler 2 just recently. I'm quite a lot of the way through the game, but I'm really enjoying that. That's just a side note. Um, but yeah, never really cared for Mario Kart Dawn, never bothered getting it. Um, 
but Nintendo just gives it all the treatment, like so many characters and costumes and stuff, and I am immeasurably jealous of it, and like, why can't we get all these cool things in a real Mario Kart game? And now they are adding some DLC to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, that's nice, I feel like we're just getting... We're just getting Tor's hand-me-downs, like, they've still got Nabbit and loads of cool costumes and Pauline. <sighs> let's, let's bring Egad into this, come on, let's get Egad in. Oh dear. Anyway, um, yeah, Peter Prana, good, good. Uh, Peter Prana's a good character. Wiggler. <laughs> he was just a funny character from Seven. I didn't really use him, it's just, he's amusing, and I really want to see him on the Wiggler uh, quad bike, that would be great. Uh, and the, the new track looks really fun, I love the look of it. I love the vibe of, like, giant kids' bedroom in Ribbon Road. I loved the look of that, I loved when that came out first in Mario Kart 8. Um, and this sort of continues the same idea. And it looks really vibrant and interesting. These DLC packs are really just getting way better as they go along. And that's fantastic. Uh, but besides from those things, they didn't really show much of it. Why Why no release date? That's, that's dumb. That's really dumb. This summer, it's summer now! <laughs> Tell us the release date. Are you not convinced it's going to come out this summer? <laughs> That's the only reason I could think of why they'd be vague. Is it not finished? Dunno. Did they overextend themselves with how fast they said it would come out? Dunno. We'll see. Oh well. Excited for it. Excited for it. I'm... I don't know. I just... I... Even though they've put a lot of new content into it, I still haven't been, like, playing a great deal of Mario Kart 8. Aside from when I have friends over, of course, then it's... Then it's a no-brainer, you play Mario Kart when friends go over, but... Yeah, I haven't really been super into playing Mario Kart, like, all the time, since... The, uh, the original Mario Kart 8 came out, like, what, seven years ago or something? Uh, oof. Uh, but yeah, maybe I will get, like, a lot more into this when, like, all the DLC is out, and, like, literally half the tracks will be new ones, because, like... I do, when I go online, I don't want to play the Mario Kart, the base Mario Kart 8 tracks that were in the original Mario Kart 8, because I've played those to death. i played that game so much. Like, I don't want to touch them anymore. <laughs> it's so boring. I just autopilot through them every time, and I'm like, ugh, this again. Uh... Anyway, moving on from Mario Kart. That's a very small part of the direct. Why did I talk about it for so long? Anyway, um... <clears throat> Is it the big thing now? Is it the big thing now? I think... I think it's the big thing now. Anything else that I've, that's worth bringing up? I don't think so. I don't think so. If I think of anything else, I'll say it later. But... Big deal this. This is a big deal. I, I, I didn't mention Pikmin. Pikmin's okay. I, I just remembered Pikmin exists. I just remember Pikmin exists. I played Pikmin 3. I enjoyed Pikmin 3 quite a lot. I might get this game. We'll see. By the looks of the rest of the games in this direct, my wallet is going to be crying out for mercy. So it might take me a while to get Pikmin 4, but it looks good. It looks good. Anyway. Anyway. Big thing. The thing you all came here to hear me talk about. And I probably don't have a massive amount to say that hasn't already been said by everybody else on the internet. It is Super Mario Bros. Wonder. I wonder if this will be a good game. It looks like a good game. It looks like a really good game. I love the art style. It looks fantastic. I am so glad that we are past the... So milk toast, like generic, r just seen everywhere all the time. New soup style models of characters and stuff. These characters look so expressive, and it's so weird. Is this game? You just rename this Super Mario's Bad Acid Trip or something, because it looks like he's on drugs. Oh my goodness. 
It's just so bonkers. The, the, the elephant, stretchy, Mario in silhouette land. We're in this, I think that we're in some kind of place of all the flower kingdom, so that's why there's loads of talking flowers. Some like, some toad adjacent species in this game that I don't think are toads. So, mm, Daisy is playable. Oh, you, you hear that? You hear that A collection of Daisy amiibos and plushie? Daisy is playable in the new 2D Mario game! Yay! <laughs> oh dear me. <sighs> yeah, I like I like Daisy. In case you didn't realise, uh, she's she's always like the character that I I default to in like Mario Party and Mario Kart. Uh, Hi, I'm Daisy. I'm super excited to be in the new Mario game. Yo. That, that would that would have been weird. George, don't do prolonged impressions of Princess Daisy, please, anymore. Anyway, yeah, yeah, I'm so excited about that. It looks terrific. It looks it looks innovative. That's what the 2D Mario series has needed for a long time. Innovation. The new Soup series. None of the games were bad per se. Um. They did little bits of new and interesting things, sprinkled here and there. But there was never really any major innovation. Um, <clears throat> basically what they did was release uh, variations of the same game five times. That's what they did. I guess you could say six times because they re-released it on the... They re-released re the, the U games on the Switch. That's not that's not a different game, screw it. That's not a different game. Anyway, the most original new soup game that there is, the most unique one with the most going for it, specifically that one, I would say is actually the first one on DS. I love the DS one, and it had like unique bosses and everything. That one was great. Uh, I really enjoyed Wii at the time. But since then, Koopaling fatigue has set in, and uh, all the other, and the, there's new soup you now, and uh, yeah, there's just so much fatigue with this series that I feel is being wiped clean with this game. Very, very excited to hear more about that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> the the furry, the furry and. Weird transformation communities online very excited about the elephant Mario. I don't know. I am Afraid but also somewhat curious to see what Daisy might look like <laughs> With a flipping elephant apple. Oh, what if what if it's like that that item like transforms each character into like a different animal that does different things that could be interesting but oh well, um, have I got anything else to say? It looks creative and fun and good, terrific, spectacular, outstanding, show-stopping, never before seen. I, I don't remember the whole list of things that that lady said in that meme. It's flipping hot in here. I closed the window so that I wouldn't get cars going by noise interrupting me, but it's, it's flipping warm recently, man, blimey. Oh jeez. Anyway, that was a terrific direct and I'm very excited for several of the games and they're all coming out rather very soon which on the one hand, yippee, I get to play them soon and my let's play for the thing gets to come out quicker. Although that is still several months away so you might be, you might actually, I might have to stop doing weekly videos at some point soon because Galaxy 2 doesn't have that much longer left, really. It's got like, ooh, like five episodes tops. I'm, I am going to complete it. I'm doing all the green stars and I'm doing the perfect run. Um, but then I've, I've, I'm going to be doing the uh, the Super Mario RPG remake when that comes out. When Harry comes over next, we'll record some Super Mario Sunshine. I'm going to be re I mean, let's play that with him next. But as of now, I don't have any plans for him to come over. I don't know when that's going to be. So, yeah. We might be let's playless for a while until some things come into come into play. But yeah, 
the, yeah, the, the, these games, a lot of these games are like releasing towards the end of the year really close to each other. And I'm a bit scared of that. Um, not only because, ow, my poor aching wallet, but also because the way I play games is I'm very slow. I take it so slowly. Uh, I take a long time to beat a game and play a game. And I, I, I just can't focus on more than one game at a time. I don't play multiple games at once. I play through one game, then I finish that, I move on to another one. So, oh jeez, they're coming that closely. I don't know if I'm gonna be getting them both at the same time because, ugh. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Wasn't it a great direct? Say some stuff about it in the comments if you feel like it and like and subscribe. Yay! See you later! Does this video have much of a purpose to it? I hope so. Until next time, farewell everyone, bye bye